It's closing time at Club Paradiso, a rundown bar on the outskirts of Flatbush and Otara. Everyone's ready to go home after a long night at the club until notorious criminal Q and his sidekick burst into the bar, covered in blood, high on pee, and running from the cops at Club Paradiso. All hell's about to break loose. Uh, this new show, Club Paradiso, like, that synopsis alone to me, it sounds like it's already a feature action drama film. What's the inspiration behind this one? The initial inspiration uh, was Robbie, who I've done four plays with previously, saying he wanted to play evil. I was <laughs> looking for um, a project for this time to debut this new group I've developed called FCC. And initially I was developing a comedy out at MIT, I had a bit of space out at MIT to work. And when I was walking into the township, I was going past um, Paradise Bar in Otara. As much as I know how my process works, I just got the idea of Robbie coming into a bar just after closing, a bar called Club Paradiso, and just stuff going down in a kind of Quentin Tarantino kind of right. way, but with a decidedly local flavor. Uh, fans know Robbie, man. You always. We're used to seeing you as the good guy, you know, the hero, the good guy, the nice guy. Yeah. Um, so he's, is he is Victor true? Is, is he correct in saying that you really wanted to play the bad guy this time, the so-called bad guy? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, especially here in New Zealand, I've been kind of typecast, as you say, uh, that the nice guy. I never found that as a challenge. Right. Um, but you know, it's, it's, but in saying that, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. But um, and I and as I said to Victor, we're just you know blowing the breeze or as they say and uh and and no not not like that victor um yeah and i i was always fascinated about playing someone uh evil you know right. kind of, uh, someone that's uh that's almost in the fringe of being psychotic it's the first time i've written something and asked myself can i actually bring myself to type what i just thought can I actually bring myself to see it on the on the computer screen? And the answer was yes. Wow, awesome! But that's a very interesting place for me to be as a writer too. Mm. Of course, hence why it's got the R eighteen tag, I suppose too. Yes. I mean, I think it's very important for us to get out, particularly to the community, not to bring your kids and more importantly your <laughs> mum, unless, as I said, she can handle human centipede as mine did. Thank you, Joshua Williams. For those of you who don't know the movie, um, the, what is it? Human, human centipede. centipede. It, it's it's. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I don't so know how you, you can say handle disgusting in Samoan, do you? Disgusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Malo. <laughs> yeah, fair, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of the big things for me with this play is it's about choice. Choice is a real theme. And one thing I really like, the director, Valo Manosate, came up with this little catchphrase that this is about the brothers that see the light but choose the darkness. But we are the sum of our choices. And so I, I'm very conscious of my choices, having made quite a few bad ones in the past. Haven't um, we all? Yeah. Yes. Kentucky Fried Chicken, going, going for that fight. Piece haven't pack. we yeah. all <laughs> it's very important for me particularly with this group fcc that um part of the thrust of uh, is making sure that young ones come into the industry and get a chance to act with seasoned veterans like myself and like robbie and I'm like a veteran <laughs> yeah, you wow. are a veteran. Then that's putting it nicely. But going back to your question, when I had my very, very first workshop of my um, award winning play Sons in 94, mm. um, <laughs> three Samoan male characters, one female Samoan character, um, the organizers struggled to fill those roles. And that's 1994, we're talking. Right. And fast forward to 2015, we are spoilt for choice. Wow. Yeah. And one yeah. thing I'm very clear on as a Pacific uh, practitioner is that and I don't think I'm being biased for me the future it's ha we are hashtag the future I don't know that management around the film TV theater worlds have caught up with that yet but it's very clear to me that we are hashtag the future and hashtag I think, you go girl <laughs> um, I'm actually trying to make a salient point and you can google that and um, <laughs> salient. <laughs> um, we are the future because there is so much talent this the relationship between him and Robbie seeing them work together that embodies the whole FCC thing of the young with the Oh, 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 oh. oh, and yep. when I say old, <laughs> you'll always be older than me. <laughs> There's uh, a Psalm one word in my head, <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you what it is. Levon, what yeah. would you like to say? <laughs> maybe, maybe off you. Hey. Levon, but you, uh, who, who are you playing in Club Paradiso? Uh, I play uh, Sai, who's um, a little, can I say a little bit slow? Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit uh, slow, um, yeah. but uh, brought up in. Where he's from, too? Sure. Uh, he's from Otara, uh, just broke out of 
No, okay, I'm not going to give any more away, but yeah, that's pretty much who I'm playing. Right, and, and uh, for you, what's it like being, uh, this is your professional acting debut, isn't it, for Club Paradiso? And then you're chucked into the works with like Victor Roger with that reputation and working with Robbie. What's that like? <laughs> See ya. Uh, See ya. Uh, 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 no, it's it's surreal working with uh, people that have been in the industry for years and yeah. are stars and I've seen on TV and in movies. So it's um it's amazing working with these guys and and they've made it very easy too. It's they're very easy to talk to and along with them yeah are they like this on set as well because they're quite comical and quite funny and friendly eh? or are they down to no, taking no. care of business when it's no they're, they're very down to earth um <laughs> Levon, i'm just going to describe for the listener because Levon's looking around very carefully at Victor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, no, that, that, yeah that, very that. down to earth and victor's going to put me in many wisely. shows to come to fired. <laughs> <And> fired. <laughs> no um they they are very much um professionals and yeah, they've, they've got the balance really well. <laughs> oh yeah. man, this is fantastic. He's a truth sayer. He's yeah. a truth sayer. <laughs> yeah.